because you don't want to end up saying that her penis was as big as your leg, okay? What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be talking about the escorts primarily in Tijuana, Mexico versus the club girls in Tijuana, Mexico. Now, you can always relate this video to the Santa Fe District in Bogota, Colombia, or to Gringo Gulch down in San Jose, Costa Rica, or Jaco Beach. Guys, in general, talking about the working girls in Latin America, and I'm going to compare the escorts to the club girls. Now, for those of you who don't know and you always watch my live chats, people always ask me about escorts they see online and ask me, do I recommend the escorts or do I recommend the strip clubs or the club girls? Guys, let me tell you right now, I always recommend the club girls or the strip clubs over the escorts. Now, that being said, I don't want to generalize and say I never recommend an escort. I don't want to say you can never have a good time with an escort, okay? Because I know I do have a lot of subscribers who've had a good time with escorts and had good experiences. What I'm trying to give you is a broad overview of the situation. So let me tell you why I recommend the club girls over the escorts. Before we get started here, guys, smash that like and subscribe button and let's jump right into it. Guys, here's the thing. With the club girls, you go in the club, you have security, and the girl has security. You walk in, you see what you're getting. If you're at the Adelita Bar or the HK or the Tropical or the Chicago Club down in Tijuana, Mexico, you can 100% be sure that the girl you're taking upstairs is an actual girl, okay? Those places are straight up, good establishments. Also, you can be 100% sure that when you get in the room that you're going to have security there, okay? It's going to be you and her. It's going to be a comfortable environment. She's going to be more comfortable. You're going to be more comfortable. You don't have to worry about her boyfriend or some thug or some pimp breaking down the door and beating the shit out of you and rolling you, okay? That's not going to happen at one of the big joints. Now, I've also heard horror stories from subscribers about getting in the cab, saying they want to go to a club, the cab saying they have an escort or they have another situation. They wind up in this cheap hotel. Someone ends up showing up in the room. Someone ends up knocking on the door. The person ends up getting robbed. It's a bad experience, okay? Also, seen several examples, heard examples of transvestites advertising online. Can you imagine that? You don't want to be the guy who says, yeah, I was down in Cancun, Mexico, or I was down in Acapulco, Mexico, and I got down there and I called this escort, and turns out, you know, her dick was bigger than mine. I mean, dude, right? It can get serious. So, for all you guys who always ask me, why do I recommend the club girls over the escorts? That's simply the reason why. It's not rocket science. I just think you get a better bang for your buck. You get a better service and you get more security, okay? The whole escort deal is something that's kind of out there and unknown, right? Guys, not to mention, remember, I speak on the legal red light district of Tijuana, Mexico. These club girls are legal. They're working legally. I don't know in different jurisdictions what this escort business is, if it's legal, if it's illegal. So I'm certainly not trying to get anybody in trouble. Now, guys, I'm going to be going live later tonight. But while I'm on a roll right here, I also want to kind of relate the same thing about a comparison that I do with taxi cabs and Ubers in Tijuana, Mexico. Okay? I tell people all the time, I made a video on it, when you cross the border, jump in a cab, go straight to the HK bar, go straight to the Adelito bar. Here's the thing, guys. Everybody always says, why do you recommend the cabs over the Ubers? It's not that I recommend the cabs over the Ubers, guys. They both offer good service. It's that a lot of people that cross the border, their cell phone doesn't work in Mexico. Therefore, their Uber's kind of out the door. So to make things simple, as soon as you walk across the border, you have the taxi cab right there. They take you to the Zona Norte. Guys, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. That taxi cab Uber deal was just kind of a, something I threw in there at the last minute, wanted to explain it. But again, one more time, guys. Escorts versus club girls. Not saying you can't have a good time with the escort. I'm just saying with the club girl, you see what you get. You have protection. Guys, until next time, be cool. We'll see you down the road.